Jetpack Joyride, a game that needs no introduction. Sorry, man. You know it, you love it, and it 100% introduced 10 year old me to gambling. Now, a decade later, I'm gonna be building a game and creating an AI to beat the game. And in the end, we're gonna find out once and for all who's better, me or the machine. Now, for those who didn't have a childhood, Jetpack Joyride is a side-scroller game where the only controls is controlling this dude's jetpack. This causes him to move up, and you need to try to avoid the zappers. Now, before we can add the AI, we need to rebuild the game. So, let's open a new Unity project and get to work. So right now, all we have is a box. Now, a more character-shaped box. And now, if I press space, he flies up. Bye, have a great time. But he goes up infinitely. And after adding gravity, the player can move just like in Jetpack Joyride. But we're missing a critical part of the game. Exactly, the Jetpack Particle. And now with a Boeing 747 engine attached to this dude's jetpack, we can now really fly. But this isn't just running simulator, so we need to add some obstacles. To add a zapper, all we do is spawn two random endpoints within this region. We connect them with a line renderer, and then we have them move towards the player. But right now, the player can go straight through the zapper. You can basically say he's a... I have always wanted to use that title card, but after making the game reset when the player was hit, the game is basically done. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I put so much effort into these videos, so if you go on and enjoy it, you know, it's right there, right there. I mean, just look at this game dev mastery. I mean, you can just see it. It's, um, okay. So we need to make this game look so much better. So after taking some time to trace over all the assets in the game, and I was really going for like a fifth grade vibe. And honestly, I think it kind of nailed it. I nailed that vibe. And as I always say, if you don't win, change the game. That's bars right there. That is bars. Anyways, the game is looking a lot better, so now it's time to add the AI. And to do this, we need to set up some parameters. First, how is our agent going to get rewarded and punished? Now, I set it up in two ways. The agent gets a small continuous reward as long as they stay alive, as well as a big penalty if they hit the zapper and the run resets. Now, let's talk about some inputs. All the player gets to see is his velocity and his height as well as rays coming out of him in various directions. So he can basically see only 60 pixels. So his life kinda sucks. So let's see if our agent can lock in and train. So I'm gonna set it for 15 minutes and walk away. One AI training session later. I would guess about 45 minutes. And I came back and nothing happened. So I forgot to connect the config file to Unity. So I'm gonna run it again for another two hours and see what happens. It's currently 11.30 and we're actually cooking. Like the AI is doing so good. we will have this run overnight. So let's see how it goes. Tomorrow. Dude, okay, bro, bro's cooking so far. Dude, I really like this. He's actually avoiding it perfectly. Okay, so this is kind of sick. So now it's time for the competition and let's see how it goes. Welcome everyone to this amazing match between Bezio and Al. My name is Winston Suter and I think we are gonna have a very great game among us. You know, I think we got some two very passionate competitors, and I think it's just going to be a great fight all around. So let's first start off the questioning with Bezio. What do you think your greatest strength is? All right, cool. Thanks, Wilson. It's Winston, actually. Oh, sorry, William. Yeah. So for me, I honestly think my two advantages are just straight my experience and my mindset, right? Like, I think I have the heart for this. I think this is my game. I've been doing it for a while. I think, you know, people come into the sport, you know, they get cocky, right? They think they own the thing. I think Al's going to suffer, right? And he's going to learn that, you know, he's not made for this, right? And it's like, you just can't come in here disrespecting, acting all cocky, thinking you do own the place. So, yeah, I think he's cooked. Genuinely, I think he's cooked. I think it's not even going to be close. Okay, okay, I see you, I see you. Now, I'm going to pose the same question to you, Al. Bezio doesn't know what he is talking about. He is a joke of a competitor. I am going to expose him, and it's not going to look pretty, that's for sure. Okay, 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 okay. So for the final question, Bezio, why do you think you have the advantage over Al? You know, with his elite reflexes, quickness, and agility, how do you think you're going to face off against that? Who? Al, the one one over there. Who the fuck is that guy? Damn. Okay, I understand. I understand. So clearly two very passionate competitors. I think we're going to have a great match. So let's get out of the game. So now it's the time that you've all been waiting for. I'm Winston Suter, and we're going to get an amazing game going on. So let's start out with game one. It's gonna start out pretty slow. We have Al in the black hair and we have Bezio in the brown hair. Whereas Al, you know, he's one of the up and comers. You know, he has that that it factor and you can tell. Um, he's very strategic. Oh, and that was an easy out loss. What the hell? Game down. Oh my game God, that was so down. quick. So after seeing Bezio's performance from game one, you know, he's gotta be hyped for himself. So Bezio, how do you feel about this win? 
Yeah, he got confident, you know, and I think he wasn't ready for it. I think he was a little bit nervous, which I, I feel for the kid, man. Like I was, I was there a while ago. He has the opportunity to come back. So, you know, I'm going to stay on my feet, you know, job's not done. So uh, let's get into game two. You know, that's a really great attitude to have and hope all the best for you, man. So now we just started game two and we're, you know, we're restarting this, right? You know, it's a best of three situation. So, you know, Bezio just needs one more to win this. These are two really good competitors and oh my gosh, Al coming in with a clutch right through there, you know? So he does have that instinct, right? And I think it's growing for him, but it's just gonna take some time to develop. I feel like Al's taking a lot more risks. Then Bezio is out, following the same mistake Al did previously. Al lost shortly after, but you know, this is on game three. This could be the final game. And you know, I'm here for it. I was I was psyching myself out. I think I had it. But you know, it just it comes out of nowhere and you don't really expect it. You know, I think this is a bit of a luck game. Not that I'm making excuses for myself, but I think there's definitely some luck component and I definitely got unlucky with that one. But I think going into this final game, I'm gonna put my all into it, put my heart in. And you know, whatever happens, happens, but I'm I'm gonna hope for the best. On to game three. This could be the final game. And, you know, I'm here for it. You know, after competing this for about 25 years, you know, which is really dangerous. Bezio going with a really close to that one. That is a little bit too close. That could have been a game ender. But as I was saying, you know. Okay, dude. We're making this. We're making it. I love the enthusiasm from him. Oh, oh. No way. It is a tie. We've no never way. seen this in Jetpack Championship tied. history. That was an amazing play. Okay. You know, so th that's what I was talking about, right? It comes from that tied, experience. Bro. And, well, um, you know, we're going to go game. go for game three. You know, I can't put any favoritism, but, you know, you know, me and Bezio, we, we got some similarities. And I think um, he's, just a, he's just a great guy, you know, one of my favorites, honestly. Like, if he had a YouTube channel, I'd honestly probably subscribe. is down Yo. this is Yo. the final game it is game over humans win this it is not even close and we come for that you know go. you know bezio we do that and it's not even close let's freaking go al makes novice mistake go. you know i think the pressure came to him and that is it um that's gonna be the video you know so we're ending that pretty quickly but uh we're so close to a thousand subscribers so if you want to hit that i'd mean the world to me i put so much effort into these videos and it you know it'd be great and i will see you in the next video Peace. We on the top and we ain't gonna fall. This an obsession, I have you call. We hitting automatic, never stall. Only got